One of the most common questions our fitters get is what club do I pick between my three wood and my longest iron? Well, today we're gonna test out a seven wood and a four hybrid, compare the differences and see which one you should be playing. Hey golfers, we're here at the Second Swing Minnetonka Tour Van. I'm joined by Jackie Johnson, a certified master fitter here. And today we're gonna test a seven wood and a four hybrid, specifically the G425 versions of each. And we're gonna find out maybe which is the best for you, which is maybe the highest launching, maybe which is the lowest spinning. Uh, Jackie's gonna hit the shots for us and we're going to find it all out. So Jackie, I know you mentioned that this is a question a lot of golfers do ask you. Uh, so, you know, what is the kind of overarching theme that maybe the response that you give people about this question? I know it obviously it depends on the testing, of course, but, right? Um, what's the first uh, answer that you give there? Well, I think the biggest thing is uh, it's all about gapping. So there's too many people that have multiple woods and then, you know, two hybrids and it's like there's no reason for that. Mm -hmm. um, so a lot of our testing when you do come in and get fitted is basically what is your overall distance on the hybrids and the woods and what do you feel comfortable with and, and consistent playing. Yeah. So uh, I'm excited to see the numbers. Uh, you know, a lot of the factor is going to be spin rate and how you're going to hold greens mm -hmm. uh, and be able to control that run out it is a big factor as well for most people. So absolutely. Well, golfers that, uh, you know, maybe are interested in an upgrade at their, say your seven wood for hybrid, of course, can trade in their old clubs and take advantage of some high values here at the second swing value guide. So uh, Jackie, you ready to hit some shots here? Let's go. Jackie, the, the stated lofts on the fairy woods and hybrids from G425 don't exactly match up. So we made a, I think you made a little bit of a tweak to make sure they're, um, you know, they're the same loft for the test. Yeah, the, the uh, ping G425, four hybrids at 22 degrees loft. Okay. The seven wood is at 20 and a half. So I lofted down the, the hybrids so that they're both at 20 and a half. Okay, perfect. All right, so we'll hit, uh, Maybe hit, what, seven shots? We'll go with seven with each club here. All right. And we'll see what happens. Sounds good. There we go. That one's good. Yep. Oh, yeah. Look at that. That was least. That's probably the best one. Okay, so Jackie, uh, that was seven shots with a G425 four hybrid down to 20 and a half degrees. Um, what did you think about that? Because I know the big difference in this test, I think, is going to be A, the shaft length being longer with the seven wood, but also the club head size too. So um, what did you feel about, think about that? Was it you know, easy to launch, easy to hit? Um, and we can maybe bring up those numbers too. Yeah, it uh, definitely felt good. I mean, I only had a couple miss hits there, uh, but there's probably, yeah, four of them there that I mm -hmm. hit pretty yeah. dang well. So uh, overall, I mean, maybe not as consistent as I'd like because, mm -hmm. I mean, there's some of those miss hits that are, you know, 20-ish or so yards off of each other. So, um, but overall, the, the good hits, I mean, felt awesome. Yeah. So. Yeah, yeah. And I think, you know, you're hitting them kind of flirting with 200 yards on – well, a couple of them actually exceeded 200 yards, and then you have a couple right there. So, and then interesting, one thing we'll compare to here is like, you know, talk about landing angle. You talked a lot about holding greens, right, in the yep. intro. So, um, you know, 62 feet in the air, 35 degree-ish landing angle. So that'll be something to compare here as we hit the seven wood. All right. Yeah. That was good. You're getting a lot of height with the seven wood. Yeah, for sure, which I would have expected. Two hundred yards ish. Yeah. Nice. All right, oh. Jackie. Um, I, I think it, it's now. This is just me <laughs> watching, but I think this was maybe more comfortable for you than the hybrid. It just seemed like, you know, the the swings were more confident, and you definitely launched the ball a little bit higher in the air too. Yeah. Um, Obvious, I, I mean, with the club speed going up about, what, yeah. almost four miles an hour exactly, mm -hmm. definitely just felt like 
Didn't feel like I was swinging faster, but just a little bit mm -hmm. easier, more comfortable. Yeah, I'd agree. I think overall hybrids haven't been my favorite. Ooh, so sure. I'm, I, I like woods just a little bit better um, just because the club head makes me feel a little bit more confident. Yeah. Don't know what, why that is, but it just kind of is what it is. So I definitely was hitting it. My dispersion was better um, vertically on yeah. the seven wood mm -hmm. than on the hybrid. Yeah, so I think, you know, you mentioned the club speed thing. I think part of that's just because the golf shaft is a little bit longer. Yeah. Um, and that's just inherently going to give you a little bit more speed, um, which at the same time also give you a little more spin. And so you saw the spin go up a little bit here, um, you know, despite, you know, the clubs being the same uh, loft. But, yep. you know, larger club head, longer golf shaft, and there you get some extra spin. So one of the things we wanted to note here, right, distance-wise, actually pretty similar. Um, so that, that would be the case, right? Similar loft, they should go kind of a similar distance, but the way they got there was different. More carry with seven wood, which we'll go over to the height here and we'll see how, you know, you'll see a big jump there, of almost 20 feet on average in height. So um, it does, I mean, these all depend on the golfer, right? But someone that, you know, really wants to hold greens, as you mentioned, um, at this part of the bag, um, a seven wood compared to a four hybrid is gonna based on this, give more height mm -hmm. and, you know, easier launch into the air to like maybe give you that landing angle necessary to hold the green, right? Yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, no doubt I'd choose a seven wood. Yeah. I, I just because you, you see it right there. I'm, my carry distance is almost 10 yards farther mm -hmm. uh, and I'm able to spin it a little bit more control within about 10, 15, you know, yards. Yeah. That's ideal. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, I mean, the four hybrid felt good, but yeah. in my situation, most of the time, if I'm hitting out from 200 yards, you know, I, right. I, I'm going for the green, so I want to yeah. hold the green. So, mm -hmm. you know, that's, for me, the seven wood definitely takes the cake in terms of spin rate. Um, but again, yeah, it's, it's dependent on golfer. Sometimes right. if the golfer has a small or a, a slower swing speed or faster swing speed, yeah. you know, the numbers can vary. Yeah. Um, and also consistency, I mean, Smash factor on my four hybrid was 1.49. That's pretty darn good. 1.47's not bad either. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> but but if someone's struggling with consistency, yeah. especially hitting on the face, typically a, a wood's gonna be better because it's yeah. the face is bigger. Mm -hmm. So again, yeah. Yeah, a it, is a, of, it is a give and take. I think. Yeah. Um, you know, if there's a golfer that does, maybe they spin it too much, right? Yeah. And they're trying to decide here. That's where maybe a hybrid with lower spin could be the better choice. So out of the seven wood, you're going to see the faster club speed, right? Longer golf shaft, um, which will probably generate um, higher spin with the same loft. But you know, again, if someone does need the lower spin, they're going to want to hit the hybrid probably. So it's one of those where getting fit at second swing can be a big benefit to identify which of these is right for you because there is a lot of golfers out there that struggle with okay, three wood, and then my five iron, for example what do I put in between there gapping wise? And these are a couple of really good candidates to fill in there uh, in that spot. Yeah, I think just, you know, to top things off, I think a lot of people don't really think of oh, a six wood or a seven wood. Yeah. They automatically are going to go to that hybrid when in reality, it's not really the same thing at all. Mm -hmm. You're going to have, uh, because of the shorter shaft, there is going to be some issues for people with yeah. spin rates and stuff and holding the greens. So, uh, I definitely think looking at, you know, a five wood, six wood, seven wood is something people definitely should get fitted for mm -hmm. because they're more forgiving, yeah. uh, going to be more consistent and definitely a great option. Absolutely. Yeah. Golfers that see this and see the, you know, the, the performance of the seven wood here from Jackie uh, was, was pretty darn good. And so if you're looking for that in your game, uh, of course, you can trade in your old furry woods or hybrid uh, upgrade to a seven wood here at second swing through a tour van fitting. And uh, you can ultimately hit, you know, from whatever that range is for you, 150 yards, 200 yards, 250 yards, hit more greens from that range um, with a seven wood or a four hybrid, depending on what fits your game. So, uh, Jackie, thanks for hitting the shots today, giving us the feedback. Uh, this was a great one.